Hey guys, just wanted to make a quick um, pregnancy update. I am 37 weeks and five days. I had a high risk appointment this morning and um, apparently my amniotic fluid is low. <clears throat> Pardon my appearance. It is what it is. Um, yeah, my amniotic fluid is uh, on the lower end, nothing like extreme, but, um, tomorrow I have my regular OB appointment and they were going to induce me at 39 weeks anyway, um, just because of my advanced maternal age, um, but they might end up inducing me sooner is what I gather from the high risk um, doctor. They monitored me today. Baby sounds great. Heartbeat is good. Um, everything's good with that. But if it gets any lower, um, definitely induction is what's going to happen. I guess I, ha she, and my high risk doctor asked me, she was like, have you felt any, you know, excessive fluid leakage or anything? And I don't think that I have. I mean, like I definitely, this pregnancy have less bladder control than my first, but it's not like terrible or anything. So, um, I honestly just thought, and this video is going to be TMI because it's obviously a, a pregnancy, like, last few weeks video, but, um, I definitely thought that I was having more discharge. Um, like, I've been wanting to take more showers and just change my underwear more often, um, but I didn't think much of it. And then in my last high risk, um, ultrasound, they didn't mention anything. My fluid level looked good, but, but this time it did look a little low. So it's just a little concerning. Um, I'm extremely uncomfortable and for like weeks on end, I have just been having the craziest like labor <clears throat> signs of labor, but are they signs of labor? Because I'm not going into labor. Um, just lots of cramping. Tons of Braxton Hicks. Baby is so low. So uncomfortable. Like, I've I've wanted to cry a couple times, but I've held back the tears. Just because I'm so uncomfortable. Um, and I know, like, it's not forever. But it's just a lot, you know, running after a toddler... <laughs> And having this. And then the doctor today was like, yeah, just try to um, stay in bed, drink a lot of fluids. I'm like, yeah, for sure. I'll do that with a toddler. I'll just lay there for sure. Not to be rude to her, but like how you can't, you know, um, they like don't even want me up like doing dishes or vacuuming or anything like that. But Honestly, since I have my OB, regular OB appointment tomorrow and he's going to make the call, I'm probably going to do some dishes, just, just to be honest. I don't, like, if I do have to just go in and get induced, I don't want the house to just be crazy <clears throat> for when I come back home, because that's going to be rough anyway. Um... Yeah, other than that, that's my update. Like I said, I'm just kind of over it. Like, I'm just, I, it's been a lot. It's like one thing after another. And I get it. Like, my baby's healthy and happy, and so am I. And I'm very fortunate for that, for sure. Very, very fortunate. Um, but it's just like gestational diabetes, and then... Um, 
oh, like early on in the pregnancy, they called and they were like, yeah, your baby probably has Down syndrome. <laughs> and then um, just prodromal labor, freaking now amniotic fluid. Um, I've had two ulcerative colitis flare ups. I'm just ready to not be pregnant anymore. I'm sure a lot of people can relate. But that's my update right now. Um, hopefully I go into labor spontaneously like tonight or tomorrow. <laughs> no, tomorrow I think I'm going to have my membranes swept too. So, I, I mean, who knows? Who knows now? that I have low fluid. Who knows what's going to happen. So, yeah. Stay tuned, guys, because hopefully I will be having this baby very soon.